Good morning children. Most of us use different modes of transport to come to school like bus, cycle, scooter, motorcycle, car, etc. All these modes of transport are of different shapes and sizes. But there is one thing which is common in all these modes of transport. Can you find out? Yes, it is the wheels. All these modes of transport have wheels in them. Without wheels, it is impossible for them to move from one place to another place. Now children, can you tell me the shape of these wheels? Yes, they all are circular in shape. Children, have you ever wondered if there was no wheel, how would you travel? So children, based on the same concept, today we all are going to study chapter 13, the story of wheels. So let's start from paragraph number 3. A wheel is very important for us. We use it in most machines in our life. Do you know how the wheel was invented? Now children, there is a story which is given related to the invention of wheels. Let's find out. Thousands of years ago, early humans walked from place to place in search of food and shelter. They carried what they needed on their own backs. When he learned to tame animals like horses, donkeys and cows, he started to use them to carry heavy loads. Early humans noted that round objects such as logs of wood rolled easily. They could move even with a small push. One day, he tried rolling it along the ground. He realized that it was easy to roll round things along the ground. Later perhaps, he sliced a tree trunk made holes and used them as the first wheels. He must have connected two round trunks with a stick on which he put a cart. He was now able to carry things more easily. So children, this is the story behind the invention of wheel. As we all know that necessity is the mother of invention. The early man also felt the need of things which can help him in transporting things from one place to another. And this finally led to the invention of wheels. Children, do you know why the wheels are circular in shape? Wheels are circular in shape because it is this shape which allows easy movement. Other shapes like squares and rectangles, they all have corners. And because of these corners, they are not able to move freely on the road. Let's move on. Thus, the invention of the wheel had a great effect on humans. As time passed, humans improved the wheel they had discovered. Today, vehicles can be fitted with different types and sizes of wheels made of wood, steel, rubber, etc. Next is try this. Can you name six things around you which have wheels? So children, here you can see a suitcase. We are able to easily move these heavy suitcases because of the wheels which are fitted at the bottom. The clocks and watches also work with the help of wheels. There are several small wheels which are fitted inside these watches and clocks. These wheels move on battery and thus move the hands of the watch. Next is a sewing machine. A sewing machine is used to sew fabrics together. There is a handle at the right hand side which is attached to a wheel. When we rotate this handle, the wheel also moves and this movement of wheel results in the process of stitching by the needle. Next is this giant wheel. There is a huge wheel in the giant wheel which we find generally in the amusement parks and we all love to take ride on them. You can see the circular thing is a huge wheel which keeps on rotating. Next is this shopping trolley. It has got four wheels at its bottom which allows easy movement of the trolley. When walking is difficult due to illness, injury or problems related to old age, these wheelchairs allow easy movement as they have got wheels in their feet. So children, these are some of the things which have got wheel. Next is potter's wheel. The potters use a wheel to make most of their pottery. A potter's wheel consists of a round, flat, wooden or metal surface that moves when the potter shapes clay on it. So children, a potter is a person who makes dishes, plates and other objects made of clay. 
on a special wheel which is called as a potter's wheel. This wheel is a round, flat, wooden or metal surface which moves when the potter shapes clay on it. And children here you can see a stick. This stick is used to move the potter's wheel. Next is try this. Name any five objects you buy from a potter. So children, we buy plates, vessels, bowls, pitchers, planters and many more things from the potter. So children, in this way, the reading and explanation of this chapter is done. Before we move on to the book exercises, I request you all to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notifications. Thank you so much children. Let's move on to the book exercises. Question number A. Fill in the blanks using correct options. Now here for each question three options are given and we have to tick the correct one. First one. Early man lived in dash. Hearts, caves or trees. So early man lived in caves. Why he lived in caves? Because at that time he didn't know how to make a house and to protect himself from the wild animals he used to live in caves. Question number two. Man carried the hunted animals on his dash. Animals, back or cart. So, man carried the hunted animals on his back. Third, man learned to make pots on a dash. A tailor's wheel, a cobbler's wheel or potter's wheel. Children, tailor is a person who stitches cloth. Cobbler is a person who mends shoes. Potter is a person who makes objects using clay on a potter's wheel. So here man learned to make pots on a potter's wheel. We'll take potter's wheel and write the same in the given blank. Question number B. Put these sentences in correct order. So here we have to read all the sentences and then we have to rearrange them according to their happening. So first one is he tamed animals and learned to ride them. Second, he cut the first wheel from a log. Third, early man noticed a log rolling down a slope. Fourth, he realized a round object would move faster along the ground. Fifth, early man had to walk from place to place. So children, we have to rearrange these five sentences to find out how the wheel was invented. So when we will read all these five sentences very carefully, we will come to know that the fifth sentence, early man had to walk from place to place will be your first sentence in order. Your first sentence will become the second one. He tamed animals and learned to write them. This will be your second sentence. Third sentence will become third sentence only. Early man noticed a log rolling down a slope. Your fourth sentence will be your fourth sentence only. He realized a round object would move faster along the ground. And your second sentence will become the last one. He cut the first wheel from a log. So in this way, we have arranged all the sentences of question number B to form a story leading to the invention of wheel. Let's move on to question number C. Write true or false. First, early man moved on wheels from the very beginning. This is a false statement. Early man used to walk from one place to another place. Later, he tamed animal and started using them to carry his load and to move from place to place. Second question. Horses and donkeys were used for carrying loads. This is true. Early man tamed animals and used them for carrying loads. Third, rafts were used to load things. Children, rafts were the earliest boats which were simply made by hollowing out a tree trunk. A tree trunk is there. The inner part of the tree trunk was removed and it was made hollow because of which it used to become light and it could float on water. So this way the rafts were made and these rafts were basically used to cross rivers and if they had loads, they used to carry them as well on the rafts. Question number four. Today, most of the vehicles run on wheels. This is true. Most of the vehicles, they do run on wheels. Question number D. Give short answers to the following questions. Question number one. Where did early man live? So we all know the answer of this question. Early man lived in caves in order to protect himself from the wild animals. So this will be the answer. Question number two. Why did early man move from place to place? So the answer is 
early man moved from place to place in search of food and shelter question number 3 give a few examples of objects with wheels so vehicles windmills skateboards a potter's wheel machines in factories sewing machine are a few examples of objects with wheels question number e answer the following questions question number 1 describe the potter's wheel answer the potter's wheel consists of a round flat wooden or metal surface that moves when the potter shapes clay on it question number 2 why do we say that a wheel was a very important invention answer a wheel was a very important invention because it made human life easy as it is used in all kinds of simple as well as complex machines such as clocks sewing machines etc second it made traveling much easier as wheels are used in all kinds of vehicles like cars aeroplanes trains etc third it reduced the load of carrying luggage from one place to another next is hot can you imagine why traveling on land was more difficult than traveling on water children traveling on land was more difficult than traveling on water as the land consisted of rough and uneven parts like mountains valleys deserts etc which made traveling difficult whereas the movement on water was smooth so this can be the reason next is life skills which containers do you think are environment friendly and why clay pots plastic containers or metal containers children we all know that clay pots are environment friendly as they are made up of soil only they are biodegradable and so easily mix in the soil without causing any pollution so without any doubt clay pots are environment friendly next is this group activity draw the picture of a raft so children here you can see the picture of a raft a man is sailing a raft with the help of a long stick so this picture you can draw in your notebook so children in this way the reading explanation book exercises question and answer hots and all the activities are done in case you still have any doubt please write your query in the comment box i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible all the best children